okay you've got your front end you've cloned your front end now how do you link your back end to your front end site hi welcome to today's tutorial this is Amatech digitus um in today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how you can link a back end um to a front end cloned website in case you've cloned any website or you've watched um, one of my videos on how to clone a website and you successfully cloned a front-end website and um, you don't know how to link an external back-end to it then this video is for you if you know you've not subscribed to our youtube channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so that whenever we release a video like this you'll be the first person to release it now without wasting our time let's go straight to the point you have a front-end just like this and you want to link a back-end to it Take for instance, you have a crypto investment website, you've cloned the front end and you want to link it to an external back end. How do you do that? Now, um, first of all, um, you want to upload your front end to your URL, just like I just did. I cloned this site. This is not the original site. This is a cloned version of which I uploaded to my tutorial URL. So I will be linking, I will be teaching you how you can add an external um, 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 dashboard to it, which is crypto. Now, um, first of all, you log into your cPanel. Um, you just go straight to your cPanel and log in. So um, I've logged into my cPanel back in. Uh, once you are here, you go down to file manager. Then um, locate that very URL you want to use. So I'll locate my, this is the URL I uploaded my front end. Now, this is my front end and I've already uploaded my front end here. So now there are two ways you can upload or, or link a back end. You can either create a subdomain. If your URL is omatechdigital.com, your, your back end URL can be um, account.omatechdigital.com or members.omatech or users. Or another way you can be omatechdigital.com slash then you create a folder. So I have created a folder which is called account. As you can see, the folder is empty. So this is where I'm going to upload my external script, which is the backend. So I'll just click on upload here. Then I'll locate my external uh, backend. Um now um you 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 might be using another backend which is different from mine. So I am not telling you. Um, or my back end will look or your back end will look exactly like mine no my back end might be different from yours so but in any way this is how you can link um a back end to a front end so you wait for it to upload all right um uh, now that you've uploaded your script so you want to extract this very script on that very folder you created on that or that very url you created like myself i created a folder so I'm just going to extract it on this my account folder. So my back end URL will now be tutorialautomatic.com slash um, account. So I have um, extracted it, so I don't need this. I'm just going to delete this here. I'm just going to delete it. I'll, I'll click on skip. So I don't need that. So now um, the next thing is for us to go back and create our um, database because we need to create a database and link up the database. So what you're going to do here, um, you scroll down to where you see my SQL databases. So um, this is where you create your database. You create, first of all, you create your database name. I'm just going to hit, just put database. Um, once you're done, just copy your database URL um the database name come back to your file you see dot amv open it and edit because we are replacing this database with that so i'll just come here i'll replace it with this i replace the username also because i am creating the same thing as username i'll just go back then i'll for user i repeat the same thing for user database then i'll auto generate password i'll copy the password then come back here and um, paste it here. Then once I'm done, I will click, come back here and click use password and create user. Then I'll go back. So once I'm done creating this, I, I, I need to assign user, add it to database. This is it. You select the user, then you select the database name. 
and you click on add um privilege then once you add user you click on that privilege you click on this all privilege and you click on make changes then once you are done you want to go back to your cpanel then we need to upload our database right now yeah we need to upload the database you scroll down to where you see php my admin you locate php my admin then you wait for it to load then you you go select your database name because we need to upload our database you just click on it like this then um you click on import once you click on import you click on choose file then you select your database name you select your database name like like i said my script might be different from yours so if yours is different from mine then you need to um select where your database is so i'll just go back to my cpanel here go to my db folder this is my database i'll just hit on download once i'm done downloading then i'll go back to my php my admin choose file then upload the database and i will import so i'll just wait for it to import after importing my uh database connection is set so it has uploaded all the file now the final step for us to do here is um if you load this very site the both the front end of this script will appear on your back end but we don't want that we want a situation whereby if we load our back end URL, it will just start with login or registration so to do that you come and click on resources you come and click on view then go to vendor or front end or front end here this front end it is this front end we are going to link our um our back end script to our front end so you 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 select this front end then you go to authenticate you see authenticate here then you see login register but we want to replace our index page with this login page you know if you are using the script the index page of that script will follow that script but we, we need to replace it with our login so you want to copy everything about this login copy everything about this login then come back to your front end folder locate your home data the index of because this is the index of the very back end script but we don't want to use their home page because we have our own home page we just need their back end so i'm just going to um edit this and paste my front end um script yeah i double click it here and i'll save then once i'm done saving i have overwritten their index page to read my login page you understand so don't be confused yet once you install a script the front end will follow that script but we don't want to use their front end because we already have our front end what we just need is their back end to link to our front end so that when we click on sign up or login it will take us to the back end we 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 we, we just installed so i have replaced the login page of the back end to the home page so if i now click on this place it will take me to our uh, the back end so now let's try our uh url .com. remember our back end folder is what slash account so let's see if it works now we have a problem access the ninth for user this password yes from where schema table blah blah gateway and type okay now we need to for um um we need to troubleshoot this look at the error here this is the error schema table gateways so it says access is denied so we need to go and give it permission so we did a mistake when we replaced all this we didn't hit save we didn't save our um code here so let's just save it i think that is the issue we didn't save so let's go back and refresh this page whoa that is it so now we now have our back end are you seeing it so now you've created your back end how do you now link it to your front end so that when you click on this sign up it will take you to this place when you click on login it will take you to login page so to do that you go back to your cpanel folder 
then go back to that your uh, your front end html documents which is this index you open it and then um, you click on edit then once you click on edit you are going to search for where you will see that login you just scroll down to where you will see that login um you see login and sign up so we just need to search for it it's as if i've passed it um login so okay this is it login and sign up now look at the url what you are going to do you are going to replace your login url with it so you just click copy your back end code and um put it there where's my index okay on login this is it then on the um, register i'll just click register just copy register and come and drop it on sign up sign up here sign up here so now if i save and i come back to my front end i refresh now if i click on sign up now you see that if you look beneath my um, browser you see that the url has changed if i click on sign up now it takes me to my sign up page then if i click on login now it takes me to my login page can you see now if you want to log into your admin dashboard you just in front of your folder just put slash admin like this if you take it to your admin um dashboard so i'm just going to log into my admin and um my admin is and i'll hit the login now this is my dashboard Whoa. so now we have successfully linked an external dashboard for crypto investment to a cloned front end which we did so like i said if you haven't watched um uh, my video on how to clone a website look at the um there is a video on top of this very section that says clone a website in less than five minutes you can watch it to know how to clone a front end of a website so uh this is how the dashboard of these very scripts look like then um you can manage transaction you can manage user profit and etc so if you check user profit you see everything here so um you can check on your users all users or customers or anybody everything will appear in this place so um the settings of the site your this is your investment if you want to create investment um 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 um, um plans these are the investment this is where all the investment will appear these are where all the investment will appear so these are where all your deposit your deposit if or automatic gateway or you want to create a manual gateway you can simply hit on manual if you want to create add your own payment gateway you just click it like this and you follow all the instructions yeah you follow all the instructions here yeah. so um for the site setting if you want to um uh, 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 uh um like the language or the email setup and um, anything you want to do here so you want to change the logo of the site you click on site setting here you change the logo then you can if you want email verification you can enable it if you want any other thing you want to do here so you can just activate everything so this is how you link an external back end for a crypto investment site to a cloned front end website um if you found value in this video please and you've not subscribed to this channel please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that whenever i release a, a a a good video like this next time you'll be the first person to receive it thank you very much